Hi, everybody. It's Pam at the Paper Outpost. Uh, today, we are carrying on with the creation of this junk journal. It's going to be a hidden spine junk journal with a um, relief cover. And um, I will put the links to the, um, the previous videos in this video, either at the end or down below in the description box. Remember, Pam, remember, Pam, remember, Pam. Um, but these are going to be stored in my playlist called junk journal construction covers signatures and finds something like that yep okay so uh what we're going to do today we're going to um take the signatures that we made last time and attach them to the spine and paste and place the spine inside so um things are going to move relatively quickly here so hold on you can you can totally see my cow pajamas these are my self-admittedly my cow pajamas Okay, I have no secrets from the world, apparently. It's all out. Yes, it's early, and I'm crafting. Welcome to the craft room. Okay, um, so what we're going to do, I have some wax thread here. You can use embroidery floss if it's vintage. Make Pull it and make sure it stays strong because sometimes those fibers break down after time and it will break on you. Um, and you can use thin twines or other types of threading, but I like the um, wax thread. Uh, gives a nice grip, nice feel, and I think this color, it's kind of a brown coppery color. Um, um, this little roll will last me forever. Um, but basically the magic number is three. You want to go three times the height of your journal. One, two, three. And you do that for the number of signatures that you have. And I have three signatures in here. So I'm going to do two, two, three. And then three, two, three. And that's going to give you enough extra. So if you want to do little dangles or something cute off that, you've got room. And this, oh, okay. So giving you an update on the cover. Look at this. I have time. It's like way too far back here. Come, come, come to me with the light. Come to me. Okay, can you see that? Okay, that's maybe better, huh? Oh, oh not that too. There. Is it, where's the perfect spot? There? Okay. So uh, it, I feel like it's fully dry. It's hard. There's no more mush feel. The Mod Podge that I laid on top has sealed everything. It's a great seal. Um, and it gives it that almost enamel glass look. Um, okay. So let's get these out here. Now that I've moved everybody around. How you doing? How you doing today? How's your day going? Are you having fun with your papers? I hope so. If not, just hang out, uh, kick back, grab some snacks, and let's get to it. Okay. So, oh, okay, I'm not done yet. This is called jumping the gun. Okay, Pam just jumped the gun because she doesn't have any holes in her signatures yet. So we need to back up, Sally, and get your holes in your signatures or there's nothing to sew. All right, silly goose. All right, so this is my spine. This is the top of my spine, as I have denoted by the leaf that is pointing up. That's how I remember. But you can also write a T and erase it with, um, you know, write it in pencil and just erase it or just make a little dot or something so you know that the, that's your top. And then you want to know the correct top of your signatures, okay? So um, that's important as well. And I may, you can go by um, like a little mark or a sign or something like that. Or you can just put a little pencil mark or something that you could always erase. I'm just going to put a little mark there so I can remember that's the top. <clears throat> okay, so now these little clamps are in my way. You want to keep the spines um, all aligned, very close together. Okay, so I'm just going to put these on the sides, keeping my spines aligned. That will keep my signatures uh, aligned in the junk journal. That's the, probably the biggest question is, how do we keep our signatures aligned in the junk journal? I mean, this is how, how I do it. There's probably a million and one ways, but this is how I do it. Okay. This is the top of my journal, bottom of my journal. I'm going to put this down on the table. It doesn't really ma matter where, but where I want to put this is in the direct center of that. Yes. So I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to maybe lay it on... The um, where I can see the middle row. It doesn't matter whether you use the first row, second row, or third row. But what you want to do is have it so that you can. Let me get uh, something you can see better. I'm going to use a sharpie marker. Uh, now you're going to look at it from this side. Oh, I'll pop that out of there. 
and you're going to line up. Make sure you, this is in the center. Um, this signature block is in the center of this. If if there's some hangover, let, let's say this is a little bit longer, you still want this to be in the bit dead center. That's very important. Okay. Um, now we're going to come back here, and wherever that dot is, I'm going to make marks on the three signature backs. Okay. So we have that. Now we can put this away. Okay, let me readjust you without popping everything out of place here. Okay. All right, there. Okay, whoop. We had all that light, and now we don't. Okay. Okay, so now we have that. Readjusting chair. Okay. So this is our top. Um, and now it's okay. We can, we can let this, we don't, they don't have to be all clamped together because the dots are going to candle all of that. Now, I'm going to bring out Crocodile to Big Bite. And we're going to be going again for the one eighth, doing it, one eighth skinny puncher. Okay. Let's take, um, turn this. Oh, it doesn't really matter which one you do first. I'll do the back one first. I'll take it, go find the center. It's always a good idea. And it never hurts. Where is my ruler? I hung it up. Oh, where is it? Oh, okay, we'll use this one because it's close. To tap them so that approximates everybody together, brings them together, aligns them. And it's also a good idea to maybe clip them. You don't have to do this part, but whoop, if you do, everything's going to be a little bit more secure and not right around on you, okay? Okay, so now what I do is I fold it back on itself. Why? Why do you fold it back on itself, Pam? I do that so that when I'm nestling this in here, I'm going to try and turn this. Okay. Um, so that it helps guide the puncher onto the dot. Go on the, like, punch the dot. Okay. All right. And then punch the dot. Now, be, now realize at this moment, I have changed up and down and I do not have this marked. And I'm realizing that right now, and I realized which one is the side up. This is critical. This is where major mayhem happens. Make yourself a little dot on the front top. Just do it. Trust me. Okay? All right. And you got that? And now you can let this go. It's not, it's not as urgent. All right. Number two, front top. Front top dot. Okay. That's all you need. No more than that. Very, very... Uh, you, it's just simple. We like simple around here. We're all about simple. We want to have amazing things done simply. It, it, I, I want this to be easy and fun for you. So anybody can do it. And I want, I want you all to have the experience of making books because it, it really is a, a fun thing in life to make your own books. So, okay. Now I'm rotating this all around. I do note that there's my dot. That's the top. I'm going to fold it back on itself because I just like to do that. And then I just need to get it in. It doesn't really matter at this moment which end is top or bottom. It only matters when I'm sewing it in. Same thing. Punching right over the dot. And we're in. And it's pretty easy punch with this um, thing that gives you the strength of a thousand crafters. It really is. Crocodile Big Bite. Crocodile 2 Big Bite just gives you that. You can shove the paper in deeper. Okay? And I could almost do this one all the way in, but sometimes if my papers are bigger, I have to turn them around and rotate them to get that center punch. My, my strings are, my holes are very rarely evenly spaced. It's okay. Often, just out of habit, I do the first two closer and the last one farther. It just happens that way. I don't know why, but you can measure them all out if you wish. But um, it's, it's not that important. Okay, so we're going to put that there. Unless you like absolute symmetry, and I understand. I do. I understand. Okay, so there's my mark. I have my mark, the original mark. Let's do the same thing. And there's only three, so we'll just do these together so you can see. Maybe we're even doing them together. That would be fun. Okay, here we go. Tapping it all together, making sure everybody is aligned. Okay. Holding back upon self. Okay. Um, 
Punching. Punching. I don't know if I can reach this one. Can I? It, oh, I can. Okay. That rarely happens, but we're doing it. Threesies. We got the threesies in. Okay. So now we can take these off. You can leave those on if you wish, but it's not absolutely necessary. Let me go for the down angle tint, tilt. And let's get our little spine. And now we're going to sew the signatures into the spine. This is where I was before, before I got all excited and jumped the gun. Okay. Get yourself a fat little darning or yarn needle or something like that with a big eye. You want a big eye. That's right. And blunt is better because then you don't poke yourself. Okay. You don't really need the sharp. You can have the sharp if you want it. You don't need it. Um, I'd say buy yourself a little pack. They sell them at Walmart and everywhere. You can get them anywhere at any sewing place. Online, eBay, Amazon, all that fun stuff. Um, but there you go. It's just going to make your life so much easier than trying to thread the regular kind of needle. Okay, so let's look at our signatures and decide which one we want in the back. I think this one. Okay. And reason being, I'm not changing the order because that's the way I cut them. And anytime you start shuffling things, even though you cut them all uniformly, there's always a little slight bit of difference. And if you stick with the way you cut them, they'll nest better. Okay, yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do the three-hole pamphlet stitch. Yes, it's my favorite stitch. It's very simple. Anybody can do it. And it's very sturdy. Okay, in through the middle, in through the right middle hole, okay, pull till small tail stays, upper hole, upper right hole, through the middle, or not middle, through the top hole, down through the bottom hole, through, pick it up, bottom right hole, and then checking to see if tail is still present, tail is still present, middle hole, Mid middle right hole, middle hole. Okay, coming through. All right, we are through. Now, we want to make sure that these threadies are even in length. Okay, number one. And number two, threadies. Wh wh who am I talking to? You guys are adults. I know, I know. Um, um, the thread-like structures must be um, um, equ equanimous. Um, this is, I call the bridge. These I call the angel wings. You need one angel wing. Under the bridge on the left, one angel wing under the bridge on the right, okay? Because the angel wings pull snug, not tearing, snug, not tearing. Tie a knot, right over left, that's the way you do it. And then you want to embrace the bridge with your angel wings. And then do left over right, and that's going to give you a locking knot. That'll keep it tight. So right over left, and then left over right. And then if you can't remember, because that always happens to me, I do one more and that seems to cover it in case you goofed, okay? Pull it nice and down. You have a nice little tail here. You can attach fun things. Um, you can make little things that dangle outside of the book or you can put something and dangle inside of the book or you can just snip it right there. But that's a nice, good knot. If you're unsure, if you can't sleep at night, you're terrified it's going to come undone, just take a little dab of Fabrifix and just put it right there or any type of glue right there and that will help. Okay, so now the, the important thing is... Here's another great use of the old folder of bone, the bone folder. You want to train your paper. That's right. This is going to help your boat. Your boat. Well, okay. Once you get in your boat and you brought your books, um, it's going to train your paper to lay flat. So when you open your book, it'll lay flat. So it's easy to write anywhere in the book. That's what you want. Okay. So that's nice too. And you can go, you can go this way too. I often do show this way, but this is also advantage. Advantageous. That's we go. That's we go. I can't talk today. <laughs> it's very early and I've only had one cup of coffee. Wait till I have two. That's right. Okay. So now we're going to go for the middle one. And this part is like fun. We're like just having fun at this part. Checking for our front corner dot. Now, when you have a black mat and you can't find your needle, you have to sort of feel for it. And I found it. Getting the next thread, doing the same process. We'll just go through it together so you get a good feel for it. If you haven't seen this yet, middle, middle, top middle, middle, middle hole. And sometimes they migrate a little bit, but you can kind of use the needle to realign them and then you'll find you'll find your way. Leaving small tail, bottom, bottom hole, uh, bottom, bottom middle hole, 
Checking to see nobody got stuck. Middle tail is still present. Middle hole. Try not to thread through the previous string. And if it if you did, then try and back it out and un and release it. You don't want that. It will just cause mayhem. Okay, now get your angel wings even. Okay, pull snug, but not tearing. Right over left, first knot. Left over right, second knot. And one more for good measure, just in case you goofed. Okay. Okay, I should say, just in case Pam goofed, because sometimes it happens. Train the paper. Train the paper. Oh, it's a piece of metal. Okay. And do to do, do to do. Very good, very good. Do to do. One left. And this actually, the book comes together quite quickly at this point. It's kind of exciting how you're doing all this stuff and whirlwind and papers flying and threads and scissors and all this stuff. And then all of a sudden there's a book. I know. And the more you do this, the faster the books will happen. Um, you don't have to become a machine. You can go slow and enjoy the process. And um, is this the right way? I'm feeling like this might be upside down. No, that's okay. Oh, well, this is just the way it is. We have upside down flowers and I'm going to learn to live with them. Um, okay, here we go. Is my dot in the right place? Wait, wait. Yes, my mark is there. Front, double check. That's the biggest thing. Putting the signatures in upside down will give you wonky alignment of signatures. And don't worry if it happens. It happens to all of us. You make enough books, it's going to happen. But what you want to do is learn your way through it. Uh, put your little preventatives in place, like double checking with the dot or um, learning how to take it apart and do it again and realize it's not that bad to take it apart and do it again. Watch out for this. This happens a lot. See how this catches? See how the string caught around here? And sometimes I don't know and I finish it off and all of a sudden my, my spine string is loose. So, oh, look, we almost lost the tail. Don't lose your tail. Keep an eye on your tail always. Okay. You heard it here, folks. Um, there we go. And through the middle. Being mindful not to sew the, pre the threads together. Okay. Making my angel wings of equal length. Make sure there's no weirdness going on back here. Double check to see everything is nice back here. And that looks very nice. Right? It's looking, it's looking good. Okay. No, there's no crossing. You're not in the wrong holes or anything like that. Okay. We are under the bridge. It's not pulling snug, but not tearing. Left over right, initial knot. Right over left, secondary knot. And then the big finale, one more, just in case. So we can sleep nights. Okay. I've never found that knot cumbersome or too big. If you, if you do, you can do two knots. It's not truly necessary, but I like it. Okay. Fold. And fold. We're training the paper. Training the paper. Training the paper. Okay. Okay. And now we have basically the inside of the book. Let's get the, uh, get back in just a little bit. Uh -huh. Okay. And now we have the cover, the cover, and what we're going to do. Now you can, um, if you're not happy with your innards, you can decorate or do something or put something down before you put this in, or you can, if you like it the way it is, which I do, I'm not going to decorate these right now, but I'm just constructing my, my, uh, my base here. I'm going to glue this in. If anything is showing, like maybe some, maybe some raw edging or something, you can put little pieces of, um, well, let's maybe put something in there just so you can see. Ah, this is always fun to do. I think Nick the booksmith used to do this. I used to like the way she did it. She does it super fancy ways, and we do uh, more casual things here. But um, uh, she's really good um, master bookmaker. She's and she's cool. <laughs> so there you go. Go check out Nick. Um, all right. So you can do anything you want here. There's a million and one ways to do this, but you can just like mush that in there and glue it. And I think that's what we're gonna do. I have to make sure my glue is flowing and happy this morning. This is my Fabrifix glue, of which I will show you the bottle in case you've never seen it. Fabrifix glue by Beacon, clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. Not sponsored, just like the glue. Make sure the hole is open. Okay, so I put some glue down here. And these are like little upgrades. You know, they're just kind of fun little things. You can put it just at the top. You can put it at the top and the bottom. Totally up to you. 
The whole thing here is we, we need to use significant glueage. All right. Hmm? Hmm? I think I'm going to trim it a little. I don't want so much extra. No, I think I'm going to mush it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mush Not that much, though. It's too much. Back away, Pam. I've got too much here. Okay. Where are you? Can you see? Okay. I'm just going to squish it in there. Just where, like, a little bit is. You can pull it down a little bit. Just want, like, a little bit showing. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And you can check to see, you know, how much is showing. And, and you know, massage it. You have a few seconds with the, the fabric fix. That's good. Because we're going to gob that with more glue. And then we're going to... We're going to put the spine in, which is going to be so exciting. And then you're going to see a book pop out of nowhere, which is kind of cool. Okay. All right. Need to get in here and do this. All right, here. Come on. Same thing, just a little bit. The bottom. Let's get that little corner is tucked under, and we'll just pull it out while we can before it all seals up on us. There we go. All right, now let's assess the bottom. And I just want like a little bit, just a little bit showing. And there we got a little bit. And I'm going to tuck that little loosey goosey in there somewhere. All right. Okay, so now we're going to come and we're going to glue the bejeebers. And this is the uh, glue the bejeebers maneuver. So I do like to use a lot of glue here. I do not want this spine coming out. And I find that I'm, I'm normally very, um, um, I don't use a lot of glue normally, but here I do. And it's a good day when we're doing the gluing. That's right. A decent amount here. And this way we're making a hidden spine so that we can see the exposed, uh, no, no, we can see the, um, the back of the original spine as we decorated it. And I, and I like that. Okay, so I want to put the tops and the bottoms nicely glued as well, going right over all this stuff I put down. There's going to be plenty of glue. Okay. Making sure I have my top oriented. Make sure my tails are not going to get all rolled up in there. And then I'm basically just going to put this oops, some random piece of fluff in here and I'm going to orient it so it's approximately in the middle and a quarter from the inch from the top and from the bottom. It will grab pretty quickly, but you do have a minute or so. Okay, so you're checking, pushing. I want you to push in that way. Okay. <laughs> and, and for extra security purposes, do this in between the signatures. Okay, and then come in here. Do that again. That's good. That helps that glue grab. Okay, and then you look and you see, did it, is it all flush against the spine? All flush against the spine? It is. We did good. Give it a good shove in there. Check height, check bottom, check everything is aligned where we want it to be. Push, 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 and then squeeze, align, because where, where this glues is where this glues. Okay, push. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. And then I like to clamp it just so it will dry like this. There we go. And then we're just going to let that dry for a while. I might stand it on its back so it gets a good grab -a -rooney. And we have now made a book. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. Where's the little Mr. Snuffers? Let me see if he has a word to say. Do you have a word to say? Are you ready? I'm not sure I'm ready. Wait, I'm always ready. That's my new thing. I'm so prepared. I am over prepared. I've been researching and documenting and, and, um, okay, maybe that's not true. <laughs> oh, really? Well, you're going to have to explain it to everybody then what you've been doing with all of your, um, extra time. Okay, mom, can, can you move the book? Cause I can't quite get in here. Okay. Hang on. We'll move the book. Okay. So, I mean, that book will probably be so secure very soon, like within an hour, but I like to leave it sometimes for a day before I actually go and decorate it, just so everything is really good and grabbed. And um, you've heard this speech so many times, I'm just gonna have a little nap here while mom drones on. Um, why does your nose look like light pink? I, what, what are you saying? 
I have a light pain. I know what it is. I have a very bright light in my eyes. And this is why I am. Okay, Mom, can you slide the light back? Just, it's a gooseneck, Mom. Can you turn? Okay, better? Much better. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Sunshine, cub, pup, reporter here. Although I am three years old and I'm a boy. Just saying I'm a boy. I know you all think I'm a girl, but I'm a boy. <laughs> You are very manly. I am very manly. Um, I am so manly. I have the wolf. Um, excuse me, I'm a little sleepy. I have the bark and the woof woof of a wolf. Yes, yes, I do. Sometimes they get us confused. Um, not unlike coyotes, but but deeper and and more baritone. Yes, it's very deep. When I really when I really let it out of the house. I just whip it out there and, and squirrels go running. Neighbors' dogs flee to the hills like in the sound of music. Sunshine, are we being accurate? Okay. Maybe there's not much fleeing um, and nobody's running, but in my mind, it, it, it happens. Okay. Can I just have that? I don't ask for much. No. Maybe chicken. Can I have some chicken? I will stop this nonsense if you give me chicken, Mom. I know, Sonny. I know. Maybe, maybe for lunch. Okay, I'm, I'm about to leave. I'm, I'm getting my wiggle on, and I just want to know, you to all to know. I love you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sunshine. Sunshine, out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I can't. I don't know what to tell you when he ends it like that. We just, I just, I melt. Okay. All right. Those of you who don't know, welcome if you are new and thank you for being here. If you've been here before, um, we're just having fun with the paper, um, uh, making junk journals, paper crafts, um, embellishments and decorations for our junk journals, doing the papers for our junk journals. We should do some more papers for our junk journals. We haven't done that in a while and I'm really running low on papers. So we're going to do some papers. Okay. So, um, if you don't know, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. If you want to sign up for that, you're going to get monthly a free digital image emailed to you directly. You can print it out. comes in different sizes on, the, on one page, and uh, you can use it um, uh, anywhere you like in your junk journals for um, uh, uh, personal use, for selling. It's totally fine. Have fun with them. And... Um, uh, um, I have an Etsy shop. I'm going to have journals and bundles and kits and fundles available for sale um, on occasion. And um, I may do videos on them. I may just pop them in there. So go over and take a peek every once in a while and see what you find. I think I'm going to probably put some things in there this week just for fun. Just see what happens. And um, I have uh, DigiKits, which are printable download images, which you can print out at home. Um, they come five pages each, different themes, um, birds, Victorian, bu butterflies, bunnies, dragonflies, celestial, all sorts of things, over 260 kits to pick from. Um, and if you don't like to print or don't have a printer, I will print them out for you. I do them only in batches of 10 digi kits, um, that comes with free priority mail shipping. You will get 50 printed pages on nice lightweight cardstock, ready to be easily cut out into journal cards, pockets, tucks belly bands, things like that, fun things, and they're themed, so you can get rolling on your junk journals. And I sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers, such things as antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, black and white photos, tea cards, um, uh, ha old handwriting, music paper, dictionary paper, 100 plus pieces, and there you go. And um, I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies that you see me use here. I do have links for those in there for the ones that I can find. And that does help my shop, but it, you do not pay more for using my links for the items. So thank you very much for your support. And um, uh, what else? Um, uh, I have a merchandise shop if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. Um, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. Um, I have now retrieved my cup from the dishwasher. 
Um, yes, you can. And you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having over 20,000 members now doing weekly and monthly challenges, as well as seeing what you guys make from these video ideas. So remember, most of all, that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.